This clip from the movie Iron Man showcases the potential of artificial intelligence or AI. Now I'm sure you've seen this movie and seen how Jarvis not only does what it is asked to, but is also the secret of his powers. By the way, do you know the full form of Jarvis? If so, please let everybody know by posting it in the comments. Now, while it may seem to be a fictitious sci-fi type of description of AI that you see in the Iron Man movies, AI today is a reality and is very much around us. It's already growing by leaps and bounds and if it keeps going like this, we may all one day have a Jarvis. Now, according to reports, the market for AI is expected to reach $184 billion in 2024. It is expected to grow at 28.5% annually and reach $827 billion by 2030. So like renewable energy, AI is a promising emerging technology that offers rich investment opportunities. So what can you do if you would also like to join the AI bandwagon? Well, that's what we will discuss in this video. Hello and welcome to ED Money's YouTube channel. Before we go any further, a quick update. You are watching this video on our English channel. Our Hindi channel is where you can see all the videos in Hindi. And if you are or know somebody who would like to understand the basics of finance in a quick and easy way, we have a channel called as 5 Minute Finance. The links of all these channels is in the description. Before I start talking about how you can invest in AI, it's essential to understand what AI actually is. This is crucial as today you find many companies claiming that they are involved in AI work of some kind. So it's critical to understand who is doing what. Also, much of what we know about AI comes from mass media and this information may be inadequate for making investment decisions. So let's first understand the building blocks of AI. First things first, what is AI after all? Now a fundamental definition of AI or artificial intelligence is this, the simulation of human intelligence by machines. In other words, it's a machine doing human-like thinking. However, this is a rather simplistic definition and it may underestimate what AI is capable of. Now while researching for this video, we came across a video by Future Business Tech. This video talks about 10 stages of AI. These 10 stages tell us how far AI can go. You can watch the future business tech video later for more details on these AIs. Here, let me introduce you to the relevant AI stages for our purposes. Rule-based AI works on the predefined set of rules without the ability to adapt to new or unexpected situations. Examples of this are everyday machines like an alarm clock, a thermostat, a microwave or even a washing machine. Context-based AI goes one step further by also accounting for the surrounding environment. Digital assistants like Siri and Alexa are examples of context-based AI. When you are recommended products on Amazon, it's a context-based AI at work. Narrow domain AI can process vast amounts of data to produce the required information, insights and forecast. In the stock market, quantitative trading systems are an example of narrow domain AI. Reasoning AI can simulate the complex thought process. This AI doesn't just process data, but it can also make logical decisions on that data. ChatGPT is an example of this type of AI. Not only does it surpass human reasoning skills, but it also operates thousands of times faster. If you have used ChatGPT, you can understand what I'm saying. Autonomous vehicles are also an example of reasoning AI. Artificial General Intelligence or AGI is what we see in the Iron Man movies. This AI can work just like humans, but thousands of times faster. This AI is your personal Jarvis. And if you fit AGI into robots, you will have the intelligent robots that you see in sci-fi movies. After this, there are five more stages of AI going all the way to godlike AI. Now, while it may sound speculative or outright unrealistic, what one can't deny is that AI is not just already around us, but it is also evolved. From rule-based AI, we have arrived to the fourth stage, naming reasoning AI. AGI may just be a few years away. Now, in industry parlance, levels starting from AGI come under strong AI and levels below it are termed as weak or narrow AI. From an investment perspective, it's important to understand this as companies that are operating in reasoning AI are at the highest rung of the AI hierarchy currently. These companies will also have ambitions in AGI 
and who knows beyond AGI as well. And the majority of AI players would be operating on the second or third levels. Context based AI and narrow domain AI are what's driving the AI wave at the moment. But this area is also getting crowded. Now you may have encountered many AI related terms such as machine learning, machine vision, natural language processing, generative AI and so on. All these are forms of weak AI and belong to the first four rungs of AI stages we talked about. I would encourage you to further explore this interesting field of AI so that you can develop more understanding of the areas. You can then use this understanding to pick the most promising investment. Let's now use what we have learned about AI to pick AI related investments. Ironically, finding AI investments in India is not at all challenging. If you do a basic Google search, there is plenty of articles that mention AI stocks in India. Now this is both good and bad. Bad because it creates a misleading impression that AI stocks are readily available. Good because it provides a good starting point. So if you take a look at the stocks that are mentioned on websites, quite a few names reoccur. These are 20 names and there would probably be more. Many of these are large IT players like TCS, Infosys, Wipro, Tech Mahindra, HCL Technologies and so on. Now we recently did a video on IT stocks and found that bosses of top IT companies are indeed bullish about AI which is a key growth driver for the IT sector. I have included the link of our IT sector video in the description so do watch it. But as an investor doing the research yourself is also important and a good place to start is the annual report. Let's take TCS as an example. Its FY24 annual report was recently released. We checked it for steps the company is taking towards AI. In the annual report, TCS said it surveyed nearly 1300 CEOs and senior executives across industries in 24 countries to learn how companies are approaching AI in the next few years. To be precise, this survey was about generative AI or the use of AI to produce various types of content including text, imagery, audio and synthetic data. This survey resulted in a 55 page report named TCS AI for business study. TCS also identified AI as a key demand driver across all its industry verticals which is BFSI, communication, media and technology, consumer businesses, life sciences and manufacturing. The word AI occurred 263 times in its annual report. Now, we don't have specific numbers related to the company's revenue from AI, yet there is ample evidence that AI is at the heart of the company's growth plans. To cut a long story short, TCS can be a good play on AI as can be other IT majors. And an excellent way to take exposure to the Indian IT giants is the same that we have suggested in our video on IT stocks. Buy an ETF tracking an IT index. For instance, consider Nippon India ETF Nifty IT. It consists of the top IT companies. But there's a little problem too. While revenue figures from AI aren't available separately, it would be safe to assume that there are small fraction of the overall revenue of big IT companies. So on their own, they may not be sufficient to move the needle until they grow to a sizable portion. In other words, betting on large IT players to play the AI theme may be taking a leap of faith. But if AI does turn out to be a major driver, these companies do have deep pockets to capitalize on it. They can even acquire smaller, more AI focused companies. And this brings us to the second option available to you, investing in smaller companies that are built around AI. But they have a limitation too. If AI constitutes a major share of their revenue, they are also more vulnerable to AI related ebbs and flows as compared to their larger peers. As the AI field gets hotter, there will be more competition. And this competition can hurt the more focused players unless they develop a moat around their offerings. Now, from the list of 20 companies, you can manually look for companies that are more AI focused. We found one company that appears to be AI centered, it's Datamatics. Datamatics describes itself as a digital technologies, operations and experience company with an AI first approach. If you see its product offering, it includes stuff like robotic process automation, data capture with AI ML, business intelligence and data visualization, text analytics and pattern detection and so on. Now let's take a look at some of the key financials of this company. Based on this snapshot, Datamatics seems to be doing quite well. Its profit growth, return on equity or ROE, a debt free balance sheet all make it compelling AI bet. What's more, the stock is reasonably priced too with a PE to earnings growth ratio 
और अ पैग रेशो ऑफ जस्ट पॉइंट फाइव अ पैग रेशो लेस देन वन इज कंसिडर डिजायरेबल इवन ऑन अ पी बेसिस द वैल्यूएशन डोंट अपियर टू बी स्ट्रेच इन नॉमिनल टर्म्स दिस स्टॉक हैज गिवन अ जूसी रिटर्न ऑफ सिक्सटी सेवन परसेंट पर एन एम ओवर द लास्ट थ्री ईयर्स बींग अ स्मॉल कैप वेल इट हैज द पोटेंशियल फॉर इनॉमस ग्रोथ एज वेल साउंड इंटरेस्टिंग but do know that we are not recommending this stock is just an example of how you should hunt for ai stocks and the kind of financials you should check yet another company that appears to have ai as its primary business is saxsoft it provides machine learning and generative ai services saxsoft has a market cap of just 2900 crores so it's even smaller than datamatics over the last 3 years the stock has returned 77% per annum so it has raced even faster than datamatics Now you can dig deeper into this company by reading its annual report, investor presentations, and of course by checking its financials. Now, Datamatics and Saxsoft's performance may seem to suggest that AI stocks are a convenient way to make a quick buck. Well, not really. Take this company, Kelton Tech. Kelton Tech offers services in AI and ML along with other lines of businesses. Kelton's three-year profit growth is negative. Its ROE is ultra low. It is currently loss-making. so it may not be a great company to bet on this suggests that not all ai related stocks are worth investing in consequently don't get carried away just because a company is doing something in ai recall the dot com bubble when internet related stocks went up like crazy and started quoting at sky high valuations many of these companies didn't even have a business model and weren't making any money when the bubble burst investors burned their fingers really bad Now we're not saying that Kelton is a poor company per se, or that it can't turn around. Though it does appear to be in a not so great shape currently. The idea is that you should dig deeper and not go by face value alone. So you can use the list of 20 stocks and start your research around them. Go through their annual report and company presentations. Check their financials on investment websites. There can very well be AI companies beyond that list. So do feel free to explore them. Do let us know in the comment section if you know any AI stock that is not mentioned in the list. All right, let's now talk about how you can pick AI stocks in the US market. Recall the AI stages that we discussed in the first section of this video. Now the most advanced AI stage that has been achieved so far is reasoning AI and ChatGPT is an example of it. We're still away from the AGI where ai will become as good as humans and certainly a lot faster and more efficient now when you invest in ai stocks listed in india you are focusing on the first three stages only so if you want to invest in the most cutting edge ai and ride the ai wave with companies that are at the forefront of ai development you will have to invest in us tech titans like microsoft amazon google tesla nevada meta and so on These companies not only have major investments in AI but any major breakthrough in AI will mostly come from them. For instance, consider Microsoft's 13 billion dollar investments in OpenAI, the creator of ChatGPT and the more recent GPT-4O, where O stands for Omni. And you must have heard about Copilot, Microsoft's AI powered chatbot that can now perform myriad functions on text, images and voice. or Google's Gemini ecosystem which is a competitor for ChatGPT4 or Tesla's autopilot project or Amazon's Gen AI on its cloud service AWS or Nevada's chips that power AI systems an article from the economist dated 24th May reported that Google Amazon Meta and Microsoft have pledged to spend about 200 billion dollars or 16.6 lakh crore this year on data centers chips and other gear for building training and deploying gen ai models this amount is greater than the market cap of tcs so not only are us tech giants making enormous investments in ai they may already be driving the ai wave around the world and these companies are quite cash rich too as seen by the cash and short term investments on their balance sheets google has about 108 billion dollars cash in its balance sheet that's about 8.96 lakh crore in rupee terms nevada's cash of about 26 billion dollars amounts to 2.16 lakh crore in rupee terms and with this kind of dry powder these companies can make big bets on the future tech but what should you do if you want to invest in these companies and other tech companies in the us market 
Many Indian brokers today allow investments in the US market while they tie up with foreign brokerages. You can ask your broker about this facility. Top brokers like ICICI Direct, HFC Securities and Kotex Securities do have these facilities. So you can think of opening an overseas investment account with such brokers. Many fintech platforms also offer US investments. So that's another option. But do remember that investing in US markets directly also entails compliance with tax related rules and reporting, money transfer overheads and of course, tracking your investments from time to time. So opt for this option if you can commit to this. And if you can't, well, there is one more option. Let's talk about it. What I'm going to tell you now is something that could have already crossed your mind. Why not invest in a NASDAQ or a US tech ETF that's available in India? Now, you may already know that most overseas index funds close for fresh inflows, but ETFs are different. Since they are traded on stock exchanges, you can still buy them. And NASDAQ 100 is a great way to take exposure to US tech stocks. It has 67% allocation to tech stocks. The top US tech stocks that we discussed are all part of this index. Now, Motilal Oswal NASDAQ 100 ETF allows investments in the NASDAQ 100. This ETF is over 13 years old, has an over 7000 crore in assets as of April 2024. In terms of 5 year rolling returns, this ETF has always stayed ahead of the Nifty 100 by a wide margin. The average 5 year rolling returns from the Motilal Oswal NASDAQ 100 ETF over the last 10 years are 21.52% compared to Nifty 100's 11.66%. Now when you invest in a US ETF, you also gain from the depreciation of the rupee against the dollar. Over the last 10 years, the Indian rupee has depreciated around 38% against the US dollar. And then there are other tech heavy ETFs that are also available on Indian stock exchanges. Mirai Assets FANG plus ETF has almost 80% allocation to US tech stocks. But not everything is as hunky-dory as it seems to be. Since international index funds and FOFs are no longer accepting fresh flows, international ETFs are the only remaining option for those who want to diversify overseas. In the case of ETFs also, fund houses aren't creating fresh units, so the available units are just changing hands. In short, large capital is chasing fewer venues. And as a result, the gap between the price and NAV is widening. This means investors will have to pay more than what the real value of a unit of an ETF is. For example, in the case of Mirai Asset FANG plus ETF, as of May 17, the NAV of one unit of its ETF was 85.88, but the price was as high as 95.51, a premium of 11%. In the case of Mirai Asset S&P 500 Top 50 ETF, the premium is 8.4%. And for the Motilal Oswal NASDAQ Q50, the current gap is just 1.8%. But this ETF has historically found it difficult to trace its NAV properly. But there is some good news too. The largest US tech ETF, Motilal Oswal NASDAQ 100 ETF, is still reasonably priced. Its price is actually at a slight discount to its adjusted NAV. So that's a welcome surprise. Overall, this ETF has done a decent job in tracking the NAV. So this ETF can be your go-to option to invest in the NASDAQ 100. But what if tomorrow the price net balance of the ETF goes out of the whack? There is a solution for that too. If you have an overseas trading account, you can invest in ETFs listed on US exchanges. And they are some of the largest and the most efficient ETFs there are. For instance, consider Invesco Triple Q Trust Series 1. This ETF tracks NASDAQ 100 and has assets over $268 billion as of May 20. And you can even go for more specialized ETFs when you have an overseas trading account. For instance, on your screen, you can find some US ETFs that specialize in AI. So all in all, an overseas investment account can open up plethora of opportunities for you. So do consider it if you can maintain it and take out time to do required research. As always, Please don't consider any of the stocks or ETFs or investment idea as a recommendation. Do your own research and due diligence before investing in anything we have talked about in this video. Last but not the least, do take into account the risk associated with AI investments. The 24th May report from The Economist that we cited earlier also mentioned that while massive investments are being made in AI, it all depends on whether users would like to pay for AI tools. 
If user's response turns out to be lukewarm, well, the AI storm may just prove to be one in a teacup. And that's all I had for you today. I hope you found this video useful. And if it did, please share it with your friends and family. I'll be back soon with another video. Till then, take care. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.